as I mentioned in my intro, uh, you have I just it was just a few of the incredible projects you've been involved in. Um, but you just have this amazing CV of horror films, horror TV shows. I'm going to just come out on a limb here and guess that you love horror as oh my a gosh, genre. How did you guess? Yes. Yes, I do <laughs> love horror as a genre. <laughs> <laughs> What is it about horror that you love? I mean, uh, did you fall into it accidentally or was it like a plan from day one? Did you love horror as a kid? I did. Well, the thing is, I was a weird kid. Like I was dark and I was dramatic and I there was a lot going on in my world. And um, when I started reading horror, which was the f way I got in the first place, I started reading Stephen King. I was like, oh, this is how I feel. I feel like the world is about to end at every moment. I feel like I'm being chased all the time. I feel if my mom tells me I can't have candy for breakfast, it's like I'm being locked in the basement. Like it was my dramatic feelings really were validated by the horror experience. And so mm -hmm. then um, as I got older and I really loved that kind of roller coaster feeling of, of tension in a horror movie where like it all comes up and then it releases and then you laugh and then it all comes up and it releases and you laugh. And then I found as an actress, I was also very dramatic and um, that I could, you know, access some of those more intense emotional places of fear and despair. And so I found a home um, in the horror community. And then I realized it's kind of the best party in Hollywood. And so I never left. It's a great community, isn't it? Like yeah. the, the, the horror fans that I've met just, I mean, there's this sort of, not only is it obviously a love for the genre, but like, there's just a warmth to them. It's a very inclusive kind of a gang of people mm -hmm. as far as my experiences go anyway. I agree with that. I think the root of that is because horror can often be pigeonholed as not as acceptable as doing straight drama or comedy. If you end up in the horror world, you are generally a fan of horror. And so what happens is or else you like kind of skirt off and you only do one little horror film and then you go away. But if you stick around, it's because you love it. And so a lot of these, like we were at the Saturn Awards earlier this week, and that's a big uh, horror and sci-fi uh, award show for like our community. Everyone you meet there is a fan of everybody else. There isn't a lot of like talking behind people's back or snark or judgment or like a little bit of, there's sometimes a feel at other Hollywood events where people are kind of, looking around to see who, how they can get ahead in horror. We're all just like, Oh my God, I love your movie. That's crazy. <laughs> Dan Trachtenberg praise incredible. Oh my God. You like midnight mass. And then we can just talk about all the movies we've seen this year. And so it's kind of a nerd explosion in a good way. Yeah. It's, it's, it's interesting that you say, cause like that weird thing where, you know, it's sort of like, you know, horror, is it not as respected as, as, as something that is more dramatic with more emotion? But I mean, to just take a couple of examples of the work you've done, you you have, I think, done what I describe as like the popcorn horror, where you're just like sitting there putting mm -hmm. the popcorn in your mouth, going, this is amazing, this is amazing. But then you've also done um, the horror that literally pulls your heart out of your chest and tears it into little pieces in front of your face, like the emotion in the haunting of Hill House and Midnight Mass is kind of incredible. Well, it's kind of a Trojan horse, isn't it? When you trick mm. people into thinking it's going to be scary and then you feed them truths about trauma and family and life. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it, it's it's absolutely true. Uh, obviously, those two shows that I I mentioned, um, you know, you, you are one of uh, Mr. Mike Flanagan's regular players, um, you know, um, Haunting of Hill House, at Midnight Mass, and the upcoming The Fall of the House of Usher. When you've got a familiar face behind the camera uh, and a familiar cast, including friend of the show, Rahul Kohli, mm -hmm. uh, who um, uh, is a, a, a lovely man. man that guy's such I, a stalker. He tells everyone we're best friends, but like I don't know him at all. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you've got he's i mean i i feel like i should uh, not not that he needs uh, another mention on the show because he's been on it uh, <laughs> uh, before but uh but i do have to say thank you to uh, rahul for uh, putting us in touch and, and making this yeah. happen today that was well you know nice i won't thing. give him my phone number or my email so he connected us via twitter is that why like, <laughs> yeah no he'll just blow up my shit all the time i can't handle it it's too much so thirsty that one Ugh. 
<laughs> so with with these familiar faces around you, is it does it help with doing great work having that familiar cast and and team behind the cameras? What I love about working with Mike Flanagan and the Flavengers, as we've started calling ourselves. Wow, I love it. I've been calling you Mike Flanagan's players, but the fl- the Flanans, the fl- Flav- say it one. Flavengers. Flavengers. Okay, good. Let me. And when we get down. together, we can all be like Flavengers Flassemble, because um, <laughs> we're all kind of nerdy and we're not quite as good as like real superheroes. So we all kind of like roll in and we're like missing a shoe and Sam falls over. <laughs> And Rahul is hungover. Like, it's all great. Like, full Avengers, full Assemble. Um, <laughs> but what's great about it is that nobody lets you off the hook. And so when you show up to do a scene or you show up to work and you start to do the same old tricks and the stuff that you know always works and everyone's just like, no, don't bring that shit here. We want new, fresh, grounded reality. And when it is good, right, when you do hit that solid home run or even a solid base hit, you get that nod from across the room. There's not a lot of, you know, bullshit flying around the sets where it's like, you're so good and da, 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 da. because everyone's worked together so much. There's almost a shorthand when you're not complimenting each other. That's when you know it's going well. And it's sort of like you'll gas up, we'll gas up guest stars and we'll gas up our new friends. But with each other, we're just taking the piss out of each other all day. And like when someone really hits it, the most you'll get is like a solid nod. And that's a really <laughs> good, like that's a sports team feeling, I imagine, from people who play sports. It must.